Hey y'all. Oh, she gave me with that smile now. You shot it better than that's a fast you raising up. Oh, I fell in love with her. Up on side now. Girl, you all up on my mind. I need you right now. All I ask is for your time. Can I get you right now? Can I make you mine now? Let me show you I can be that man in your life now. I can be the best thing I'll have your back. If you ever feel down, I'm gonna my back. Just take a chance on me. Won't let you down, believe Welcome back to the channel, the Chin Zizzle. Um, uh, guys, I really need a name for y'all because I always, I'm always saying guys, guys, guys. Hey guys, what you doing, guys? Where you been, guys? Like, I'm gonna start saying guys. So if anybody can think of a name for you, guys, <laughs> put it down below. Um, but welcome back. Before we get started on this actual video that we're doing today, um, do you guys, well, I'm saying um, tomorrow is the day. Your girl's going on vacation, which means y'all are about to get amazing content. So get ready for all this bomb content. I'm excited. You guys should be excited. You're going to see pretty amazing, beyond wonderful things. That is what you guys want to see. But I know she is not about to vacuum while I'm doing the video. Kayla! Uh -huh. I'm doing the video! I can't vacuum? No. Wait, I'll tell you when. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> today's video is called the Common Black Girl Tag. <coughs> <coughs> I am okay. But it's called the Common Black Girl Tag. I've seen some people call it the Black Girl Tag, but I think it's called the Common Black Girl Tag. Anyway, that's what I'm doing to today, guys. So let's get started. The first question is What is your ethnicity? Um, I am black, black, Miss Black. I'm black, Miss Black. All my friends say I'm white. They say I act white, but. If they look at my birth certificate, I'm black. If you ask my parents, my dad and my mom, what are they? They're going to say they're black. So if they're black, that means I'm black. <laughs> what am I talking about? But yeah, so I'm black. So any of my friends comment down below saying something crazy, I'm black. Don't believe them. <laughs> question number two. Are you natural or relaxed? Um, When I seen this question... It was, it said, are you natural or relaxed or texture, texture relaxed, texture relaxed, texture, text something. You guys are probably like, girl, get together. But, yeah, I didn't know what that word meant, so I just put these two. I, my hair is not relaxed, I'm natural. <laughs> um, question number three, what is your favorite edge control? <laughs> thought I had it. Right here, this is my favorite, um, Shine and Gem, they have it at Walmart, they have it at the hair stores, it's not at Target, but yeah, it smells like honey, it smells, it smells good, but yeah, um, I think it's like two seventy two at Walmart, and they have a big kind at the beauty store, I'm not sure how much it was, I think it's about six dollars, but yeah, I just went to Walmart and got the small kind, but it works amazing, and like that, that, white gel that clear gel it makes my hair flaky so bad like it makes no sense so i can't use that um the next question is how many combs and brushes have you broken i have no idea i don't think i actually broke an actual comb or brush i know i've broken the bristles like my hair is so thick it makes no sense at all my hair is really really thick like i i've even broken the um i've even broken the 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 bristles of the blow dryer like my hair is so <laughs> thick and I, like i have bent them and got them out of shape and everything so yeah my hair is really thick if you ask everybody to do my hair is really thick and that's why i hate doing my own hair it's thick so yeah I keep thinking I lose, I'm losing these questions, but I'm not. Okay, the next question is, question number five. Have you ever eaten fried chicken? I have. Um, I like it. You know, I have nothing against it. 
but it's not my favorite. Um, my Aunt Kenya, she hates it. My sister Akila, she loves it. It's her favorite thing in the whole world. Like that girl can eat fried chicken every single day. So, yeah. I'm really craving Zaxby's right now. I've been craving Zaxby's for about two days and I don't even know why because usually I can't, I don't really want it. Like, I'm like, no, but for the past two days I'm wanting it. And I already know when I get it, I'm like, I, I don't even want this, but side note, yeah. <laughs> um, Question number six. It says, choose only one. Collard greens, cornbread, yams, and baked mac and cheese. Cornbread, I hate it. I'm not really a bread person. Like, the bread at Texas Row House that everybody just rolls and craves over. I'm just like, after I eat two, I'm really done with it. Like, it's, I'm not, it's not nasty, you know, it's good. But it's not really nothing I can eat all day. So, yeah. But the cornbread, too flaky. Usually, if it's homemade, it's moist, but still, I don't want it. <laughs> Yams, mmm, they're sweet. So, I really care less for it. Akila, again, Akila loves some yams. That girl loves yams, so, yeah. Um, Now, collard greens and baked mac and cheese, those are my two favorite sides, so food sides. And, yeah, but if I had to choose one, it will be baked mac and cheese. I have loved baked mac and cheese since I was a baby. It's, it is amazing. Every time I'm with my Nana, I'm like, Nana, made mac and cheese. And my Nana, y'all, she's a different kind of grandma. She doesn't even like cooking. She can cook. Like She has a little thing in her kitchen. It says, I know how to cook, but I just choose not to. Which is true because I have no idea why, but she does not like to cook. So, yeah. And she can cook. And I'm like, why are you not cooking? But, <laughs> yeah. Um, Number seven. Do you drink Starbucks? I do drink Starbucks. <laughs> I love Starbucks. My favorite thing is a venti, strawberry, acai, lemonade with no ice, no dry strawberry, and ash strawberry puree. No ice because if you get, if you get ice in it, they're going to fill it up. And you can get cheated. That's just a waste of money. So I don't understand why you guys get extra ice. I understand. It makes it colder. But you're wasting money. Um, The dried strawberries, I just, I don't even know why I don't get them. I just don't get them. But the strawberry puree, they puree strawberries and they put it in there. And it adds really, it adds a good taste to it. So, yeah, I got it. I get it. Um, It is a dollar extra, so be prepared for that. Number seven, how long does it take you to get ready in the morning? Um, it really just depends. If my hair is in its natural state, which I hate doing my hair in its natural state, but <laughs> that that takes me a good 20 minutes to do my hair. Then, and then when it's like this and flat iron, it takes me about five minutes because I just do it in a half up, half down style, or I just, you know, gotta brush it down in a flat iron. And doing my hair really takes the longest because my clothes, like the night before, I kind of think of it in my head. Sometimes the outfit don't come together, of course. So, yeah, it just depends. When my hair is natural, it takes me good 45 minutes, 50 minutes to get dressed. When it's like this or flat iron, I give it about 20, 30 minutes. So, yeah, and I don't wear makeup every day. Number nine, you go to a predominantly white or black school. Oh, we'll have to break this up. So, from a kindergarten, I went to uh, uh, kindergarten. I went to elementary school that my parents worked near because it was in a whole different city um, where I live now, and so I can't really remember. I mean, it was both races there, but I can't really remember. From first grade to sixth grade, I went to a mostly white school. From seventh grade to eighth grade. I went to a mostly black school, and from ninth grade to twelfth grade, um, I was to a charter school, and it was it was mixed. It wasn't just us, like blacks and whites. It was they had a lot of other races too, like Turkish people, people from Pakistan and Mexico, and so it was really. We had people from Spain. We had, we had the students that came down for a year, and they went back. So one girl, one year, she came down for a year, and she had house parents from Spain. Another girl, she came her my 11th grade year 
from Mexico. They actually stayed down here. Her mom actually came with her. So, yeah. So, I went to, you know, uh, all right school. <laughs> um, question number 10. Were you always confident in wearing your natural hair? Um, I think I started my natural state in ninth, ninth grade. No, it was 10th grade summer. Because, you know, my hair, I had to get my curl pattern back because I used to flat iron my hair too much. I never wore it natural and it's always flat iron. So I'll wash it every two weeks and flat iron it. Wash it every two weeks and flat iron it. And so that broke off my hair. You know, my hair was still a good length. I had did it a lot. But, yeah. So I flat ironed it too much. You know, I still took care of my hair so, you know, it didn't fall out. But still, my curl pattern was not there. And so, it still, even when school started, I wore it natural, but it wasn't like it is now. It was still poofy. I have a picture. My mom has one, and so if I can find it, I'm going to put it right here, and I'm going to try to put another one, uh, how my hair looks now when it's natural. You guys have seen it, I think. Yeah. But, yeah, and so, it was, used to be a big old puffball, but I think it took me a good year and a half to actually have it to where it was back in its natural state. So, yeah. Number 11. Do you ever take selfies? That's really like a yes or no question. Like, I have to be in a mood. Like, I have my moments where I take selfies all the time. And then I have my moments where I go a period of time without taking selfies. So, it just really depends. I got my hair done yesterday, so I felt cute. So, I took a lot of selfies then. <laughs> I might put one right here. But, <laughs> yeah. So, it really just depends. Um, did you ever hear the phrase, is that your real hair? Yes, I know I've heard it. Um, I can't really remember like uh, that time. I do know when I went to my new school, seventh grade year, people would ask me, is that your real hair? It was flat iron. And so my hair used to go down here. It's thinking about right here now. I cut it. And so, yeah, but I, I got a lot then. So, yeah. <laughs> Question number 13. Do you wear weave? If so, how often? Um... I wear weave not a lot like right now I haven't weave but I think the last time that I got braids in my hair about two years ago so it's not really so often Akila my sister she wears it all the time she forever has braids in her hair so she wears weave all the time but me I don't I wear it but not like that question number 14 what black women do you look up to so of course I like celebrities you know I have black women celebrities that I like but there's none that I really look up to. So, I do look up to black women, though, which is my nana, my mama, and my friend, Kiara. Um, my mama and my nana, they really just love women. They're family people. They always take care of their family. They're, you know, just independent black women. They get their work done. And, yeah. So, they, they're hard workers. So, yeah, I love the women to death. That is, that is my world right there. Um... Now, my friend Tiara, she just turned 18 today. It is her birthday. So, happy birthday, T. I hope you had an amazing birthday. Love you, girl. Um, but the girl, she's really ambitious. Um, she's hardworking. The girl opened up her own business at 18. No, she turned 18 today. At 17. <laughs> um, you know, I have no idea if I could do that. I probably couldn't. Um, so, yeah, I'm really proud of her. Um, so since it's her birthday, y'all will do me a favor and go on her website, Shop at TJ Means. I have said it. I said, that's not her website. It's not called Shop at TJ Means. That's what we say, Shop at TJ Means. Her website, TJ Means. Like, um, um, I'll put it down below. Um, so y'all will do me the favor. She has a sale going on, her birthday sale. And so you can get you some lashes. So go, go get y'all some lashes. Support her for me. You know, let's make her birthday amazing. <laughs> But, yeah, that is all I have for you guys today. Um, like I said, look out for the bomb vacation vlogs. I need to go finish packing. My suitcase is right here. I'm pretty much done, but I have stuff out my suitcase, not really inside of it. So, I need to finish packing, you know, clean, clean the house, clean my room. Because, you know, my mama will go crazy if we leave this house with dirty rooms. So, yeah, she hates leaving her house dirty when we go on vacation. So, yeah, I clean that. But I'm getting off topic. Um, 
Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and tell everyone about me. I'm talking like I can't breathe when I can. But, yeah, so, like I said, look out for the vacation vlogs. And next time you see me, you guys will see me in. I'm not saying that you guys will find out in the next video. But, yeah. Um, what was I saying? I don't even know. I was saying bye and I can't. Can get all my words together. But, yeah. Follow all my social media accounts down below, too. Um, I'll probably post them on Snapchat. So, if you guys are not patient for the next video, because I'm not sure, you know, when it's going to get up, I'll be posting on Snapchat. So, if you guys want to see that badly where I'm going, go look on my Snapchat. But, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Bye. See you next time.